Hello everyone. Today we would like to talk about the process of registration in the Printify service and connecting it to the Shopify store. In previous videos, we made a quick overview of the video series and created a new Shopify store. So, let's start with Printify registration. Registration in this service is also very easy and doesn't require submitting any payment information. If you have a Gmail account, you can use it for registration, otherwise, enter your email and password. Please use a strong password to avoid any security issues in the future. Normally, we recommend you use registration with email and password, instead of using Google registration. After the first initial registration form, you will need to complete a few onboarding steps. This step is required by Printify to better understand your experience with similar services. This information could be updated later if needed. Following the questionnaire, you will be landed on the Printify dashboard with the most important information for you to get started. On the left column, you can see six steps that Printify suggested for you to finish the setup. We will not follow exactly these steps, but first we'll install the Printify application on our Shopify store created during the last manual video. Installation of the app done via Shopify App Store. In the search field enter Printify and open the application page on the Shopify App Store. Click on Add App button and then process installing the app on your Shopify store. Please notice that Shopify may require you to log in into your account. If so, please do it. Please take a look at the permission scope required by the Printify application. As far as we can see, it's pretty standard for this type of application. Then process of confirmation of app installation on Shopify store. After the installation of the application is finished you can see the login screen of Printify. With the new Shopify update, you can also pin this app to the most used app because we may use it more often. And what we suggest to do. To log in into Printify, you need to use the email and password created during registration or singing with a Google. Due to technical restrictions of the browser login with Google may not work. This is exactly our case, and because of this we usually suggest using direct registration with email. After login into your account, you may see the same Printify dashboard. But there you can also see the new shop in the top right corner. Let's jump to the dedicated Printify website to manage our products. If you will refresh a page in the browser you can find out that there is a new stop added. The one where we install the Printify application. If we select it, there will be no products yet. But we add a few of the products to it in the next videos. Printify gives you various options for creating print-on-demand products. In our manual series, we will work with t-shirts, but you are welcome to select any other type of product that suits you best. My products section contains all products you have created with your design. We don't have anything here yet. Inside the orders section, you can see your past orders transferred to process by Printify. We also could suggest you investigate settings. You can access it from the menu Manage My Stores. You can do adjustments for individual stores or disconnect slash remove them. Plus, there you can find the general setting of your account. Switch between metric and imperial systems and modify your time zone, so you will know exactly when the order happens. Also please don't forget to enter your tax and company settings. This information will be used by Printify to issue you invoices. The payment section is important to process the printing of incoming orders. Without having a proper payment method or credits, Printify can't process the manufacturing of products for orders. And let's take a quick look into the product catalog of Printify. On the catalog page, you can see a list of products available for creating a printing. For every product available multiple print providers. For every such provider, 
you can find where they are located, the average rating, and the minimum price. Also, for every provider, you can see a list of available variations of products and costs for shipping. If you have a preference to work with a specific print provider, you can find it inside the separate menu. There you can also see various products available to print with them. For the selected product, you can start your design. This topic we will cover in more detail in the following videos. But in the general process is very simple. To create your print-on-demand product you need to have graphics. And then adding the position of these graphics to the product. Preview will give you an understanding how what your product will look like with printing. That's all for today. In the next video, we will create multiple t-shirts, adjust the design for it and publish it to the Shopify store. We will also order samples of your product to check product quality before selling it to customers. And we will also talk about a purchase t-shirt design for your products on Fiverr or special websites. If you are interested in it, stay tuned. Do you face any difficulties starting your shop and connecting it to Printify? Let us know below in the comments. See you in the next video.